Peninsula, with the help of the Wahhabi Islamic warriors, Ibn Saud establishes the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Wahhabis were fiercely anti-Western. They want to go back in time to a pure Islam that wasn't threatened by the West. It was by chance we discovered oil. We were looking for water. Despite criticism of foreign presence in the Kingdom, the King allows commercial oil production to begin. The result is the first union between Saudi Arabia and the United States. To accommodate the workforce, the first Western housing compounds are created. The strict Islamic laws enforced outside of these walls do not apply inside. West and East came together in Egypt when President Roosevelt and Ibn Saud, King of Arabia, they want America present there in the kingdom because we are their security. The Saudi elite became notorious big spenders and lost credibility and respect among religious conservatives. In response to the U.S. support of Israel in the Arab-Israeli war, Wahhabi Muslims pressured the Saudi monarchy to stop pumping oil. Those who control the flow of oil hold the Western world hostage. Prices quadruple. Oil was an American national security priority. The embargo redefined the balance of power between the oil consumers and oil producers. Iraq's battle-trained army swept across Kuwait's borders at first light. As a Saudi national, Osama bin Laden offered his services to the royals. He told them he could bring his army from Afghanistan to repel the Iraqi invaders from Kuwait. But the Saudis had a better offer. A half million troops from the United States. His offer rejected. Osama took to the streets and mosques to denounce the U.S., the royal family, and their unholy alliance. Osama bin Laden this week again lashed out at the Saudi royal family. We were tracking bin Laden since the early 90s. We stripped him of his citizenship. clear that 15 of the 19 were Saudis, that was a disaster, a total disaster, because bin Laden at that moment had made in the minds of Americans Saudi Arabia into an enemy. We are with you to get to the perpetrators of this cowardly attack. How dare they say they are Muslim? This is a nation where tradition and modernity are in violent collision. Now, Qaeda's forces have been behind the bombing. The team of FBI agents prepared to investigate the attack in Saudi Arabia. The latest terrorist attacks showcase the great division between the pro-U.S. monarchy and the extremist Wahhabi militants within the kingdom. Yeah. 